Hello everybody, my name is Andrea and I work here at Usburn Farm. Whoa, 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 stop right there, just give us two minutes of your time. I know that you're dying to show the animals, I know you're dying to have a coffee and run around the farmyard, but I just need two minutes of your time because there's something that you really need to know. Are you listening? Come a bit closer. Are you listening? Are you listening? Visiting the farm can be really, really good fun also some dangers as well. You see, even though the animals might look really, really clean, they're not. And they can carry certain bacteria, such as E. coli, that can be really harmful to our little itty bitty tummies. So this bacteria, it lives in the animal poop. Yes, I said it. I said the word poop. And that poop can really, really be harmful if we get it onto our fingers. And we can get it on our fingers by stroking the animals or touching the fences where the animals actually live. And one big no, no, no is to sit in the farmyard and open up your packed lunch and eat your sandwiches with all the poop that lies around the farmyard. That is a big, big no. Apart from not having your picnic and your sandwiches on the yard, there are some do's and don'ts that we would like you to stick by when you come and visit the Burn Farm. Don't use hand gel instead of soap and water. Hand gel just doesn't do it. Soap and water is always best. Don't put your fingers in your mouth after you've touched the animals. Not good. Don't kiss the animals. Don't eat when you are walking around the farmyard, especially things like crisps and sweets. No eating when you're touching the animals. Don't eat anything that's fallen on the floor. It's monkey man. Don't eat this. And if a dummy falls out of your mouth, and I'm talking about the kids, not the adults, and hits the ground, pick it up, wash it, and give it back to your kid. Or better still, throw it in the bin. Now for the do's. Do wash your hands thoroughly after you've touched the animals, after you've touched any fences. Keep your hands nice and clean. Do wash your hands before you come upstairs to our cafe to have something to eat. Our cafe is a clean and soap. When you get home, do wash your shoes. If you take your shoes off at home, wash your hands after you've touched the shoes because you might have poop on them. Yes, I said it again. Poop. Do supervise your children and any vulnerable adults that you have with you. Help them to wash their hands. Do eat and drink in the picnic areas that surround the farm. Or come up to our cafe and have something to eat up here. So what should you do if you feel a little bit ill once you've visited the farm? You should contact your GP or NHS Direct. They'll be able to tell you what to do. And don't forget to tell them that you've been visiting the farm. That's the do's and don'ts. We want you to keep safe while you visit the farm. Enjoy your visit, everybody, and thank you.